The League War is well underway, and uh, we are winning. They, it looks like we're not winning as much, but it's mostly just because they keep piecing out everybody who is... Uh, <laughs> they keep piecing everybody out. So our war leader is Bohemia, so we're going to need to get over there and occupy his capital back to help out with the cause, right? And uh, meanwhile, we're in a war over here, so it's like we're a little tied up at the moment. Now, I could snake down and take Mecca, but I don't think I want to do that. I think what I'd rather do is um, get these guys grouped up here. How many... How do you have so many men still, dude? Nizrid still don't have any loans. They have no loans. Oh, no, no. That's their morale. Where are you at here? Score comparison. They have two loans. That's fine. Could be worse. But uh, now we've got some money coming in. Let's see here. Aleppo. Oh, yeah. There we go. We want to make sure we are getting as much trade power as possible. More trade power means more money being steered into our home node. And we're going to 100% the Nizrid, so we'll accept nothing less than that. There you go. Where are you guys heading? Uh, we don't have Force March. We do have Force March. Let's go. Catch out this 17 stack and wipe them out because, you know, screw you. The fall of Prague. We've sacked Prague. Wait a minute. Oh, they're our enemy. No, these are our allies. What the heck? <laughs> oh, poor guys. So I'm going to sack Prague. No, we don't need it. I'll take the mana. That's really funny, though. If you guys do not know, we have a, a tradition around here that whenever Prague is sieged down, every, the, we take a shot of uh, whatever our favorite drink is, if you are of legal drinking age, of course, and you can drink some alcohol, but... Otherwise, I encourage you to uh, take a shot of milk because you're a little baby. You drink milk. Baby milk. All right, let's see here. Now, this battle is not very good for us. Yeah, I don't think we win this. Look at them piled in like that, man. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Unfortunate. Some of our boys are fleeing onto Venice even. All right. No, I assume that we just wiped that Vinizrid army. Yeah, we did. So let's Carpet Siege down here. Have you guys Carpet Siege down over here. And we're just chilling. We're just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Now, I probably should have upgraded a couple of these forts over here, but I have not yet. And, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. We are well over our governing capacity. We have been for a while. So let's start uh, investing into some of these state houses. It will help. Once we get our next government reform, we won't have to worry about it anymore. But, um, yeah, that's just how it is. So I assume that the Navy is basically done. Look at that. 160. They've lost literally two to one. We've lost four ships total. And I bet we actually have come out ahead because we've stolen ships. Let's have you guys also um, privateer in Cordoba. That's weird that those guys are over there. So Sicily is our ally in this war. That's that's uh, moderately hilarious. Let's get our armies grouped up. They're sieging Prague again. Relentless. There we go. Make sure we're getting all that. They will not even take this back. So I reckon we can probably start uh, figuring out the exact peace deal here. Something like that, that'll cut these guys off. No, I do want Benghazi as well. So we're going to have to... Oh, shoot, man. Look at this stack here. It's a large chunk of his army that I can immediately head on over and tackle. Look at this. One star general. 14 artillery. That's not bad, but... Um, they're locked in, so we'll meet them over here in the coastal desert with our six... Five general sounds good to me, man. You know what that means? Uh, it means these guys are about to absolutely get crushed. Look at that. That's what I thought. All right, let's have you guys head over here for a little bit of extra war score. Make sure we occupy a bit over here. My boys are grouped up. Let's get on over here and see if we can get Frankia off that fort here. Or this is Lotharingia, rather. Ship consolidate. Head in. There you go. Let's get in here, see if we can kill off as many of their little armies as possible. This is 
those grasslands. As soon as they... All right, Florence. Very good. Can I scorch this? I can scorch this province as well. Let's head into Lanshut and attack the Emperor over here. They're reinforcing. Oh, they're dogpiling hard. And none of my allies are coming to join me. Feels bad, man. It is what it is. All right. So this war is basically over. We just need to switch Benghazi back over to us. Now, I cannot take all of that. So, um... Let's see here. How much development is these pro Like, that's a five dev province. If I can switch that for Benghazi, I will. That will make these guys just a little... Their capital will be a little enclave in our land. And then in the next war, we'll just take all that. And that will be absolutely fine. Great. Ten more reasons, apparently. You guys are weird. Let's uh, have you guys occupy everything over here. Got to be mindful that the Andalusia does have a big old juicy army rocking around over there. So I'm going to keep these boys in the home territory for a few months to let them recoup. Let them uh, refill their ranks. You get faster reinforcement if you are in your homelands, if you did not know. They're super close to being willing to peace out here. I don't know how they're like actually gaining reasons because they're occupying a couple of provinces back, but... There you go. Yep, war exhaustion is... Uh, also going up so the longer they are sitting in this war there you go very good big gains that's quite a bit of overextension you know it is what it is so we should probably core up the stuff that's giving us the most overextension wait a minute oh shoot i did not realize they gave me this land over here oh shoot Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, yikes. That's a big deal, actually. Okay, well, we're going to corp the stuff that's giving us the most overextension. Yeah, okay. Well, I guess I deserve it. Well, to be honest, I guess I can just core it all up. I would like to convert some of it, but at this point, we just have to accept the fact that we're going to have rebels all over here. And that's okay. Take a look at our unrest map mode. Yeah, basically all of Egypt over here, and then Italy is going to be pretty... Uh, Pretty bad. Now, hopefully we don't get too many of these issues here. Yeah, people are going to join my coalition. I don't think it matters a whole lot. Let me see here. Yeah, most of these people are going to have a really long truce with me. So anybody who could join my coalition... Well, can people join my coalition? A couple of Italian miners. Who cares? They're not going to... It's not going to fire, so I don't care. Croatian separatists in Zagreb. Yeah, you'll have that. So this is Scorch. So they'll be slower to reinforce. There you go. Shift consolidate. So they're heading in here. Now my boys will be able to back us up. And we have really good morale. They're dogpiling, but it looks like... Yep, they're shattering. And look at that. Heck yeah, dude. That's how you funnel them in into a bad fight. Scorched Earth is so overpowered. And just like that, look at this. So in this battle, in this war, I've lost 62,000 men. Frankie alone has lost 113. That's crazy, bro. So, yeah, if you just push these guys off to the side, you don't have to worry about them as much because uh, they'll still fire. But uh, they can't fire more than once at a time. So, it's a nice little trick. You can use it. Like, we will not get the same event again. So long as they are... Um, so long as they are... Um, which, what's the word I'm looking for here? As long as they're pending is what I was looking for there. There we go. Yeah, this overextension is really bad. <laughs> Yikes. It's fine. This is fine. It was all part of the plan here. I need my boys to get reinforced. Let's get down here and get those rebels out of there. Man. Give me Pisa. 27 development. 21 development. Yeah, they gave me so much dev, and I didn't even know about it. Now I feel like an absolute dingus. That's really funny, though. All right. Cool. Oh, wow. New World must be... Uh, popping off over here you got albion has uh brazil colombia in la plata as well as the west indies and it looks like all of south america is completely trashed in uh, this uh, little 30 years war we got going on here Oop. global trade has spawned and of course we spawned it which is great 
And that means absolutism will pop here in about 10 years, which is wonderful. Now I want these guys here to uh, recoup. They recoup faster if they're on your own uh, core territory. Yeah, people can join my coalition. I, I don't care literally at all. Separatist sentiment. Yep, you'll have that. Yep. This is fine. Land leader maneuver. Incredible. So overpowered. My poor boys. We are definitely winning the league war. But I don't know. I can't believe Styria. They're on low enthusiasm. Their war exhaustion has to just be explosively going up. Now, these guys are over here without a general, which is a uh, borderline troll. We'll get another repair tick here. Shift consolidate. Shock damage received is incredible. This should be a wipe. I'd be surprised if it wasn't. It was not. Okay, cool. So let's have you guys suppress over here. And let's also suppress over here because I hear rebels pop and I assume that they're in Italy. When you're overextended, your uh, rebels actually tick up a bit faster, if you did not know. Opesian separatists as well as Peruvian separatists. Let's go handle them. And, uh... More manpower? We don't really need more manpower. Yeah, I guess governing cap is what's uh, really holding us back. So I'll just spam those buildings out. It's fine. I don't care about legitimacy. means nothing to me. And there you go. Those guys peaced out now. And as they continue to peace out people, they're, look at this. We were at like, they had like 500 infantry before. So you can see the numbers are just going to keep going down, down, down. Okay. And our manpower is like untouched. So it's not like, it's not even an issue for us. Let's uh, get you guys over here and then we'll head over, siege that back so we can continue our siege. I can't believe Styria hasn't pieced out here. Or Prothenia, for that matter. Make it happen here. War of the Protestant League. So Styria has pieced out, and they ceded a bunch more provinces to me. These guys are sabotaging me. Wait. Oh, they gave me one province here, yeah? All right, they gave me one province. They are sabotaging me, though. Look at my overextension, bro. Like, what am I supposed to do about this? <laughs> Brabant has pieced out as well. Okay, and now the numbers are much more even. Prothenia is going to piece out soon as well. Now, the reason why everybody's starting to piece out is because, um, whatchamacallit, the um, length of war modifier is stacking up now. Overextension events, overextension events. Yep, overextension events. More rebels. I don't care if they're too big. Go over there and fight them. Do I still have this Christ Pantocrator? Let's, uh... All right, let's do a little bit of development before we switch. There you go. And then we'll switch over and do some manpower dev. We're going to lose the stability, so I'll make sure I hold on to a little bit of that. Look at this. Each of these clicks is giving me an extra max of 500. It's absolutely insane. We're gaining 2,600 manpower per month. I'll do a couple of base tax, but I don't want to do too much. This song just played twice. Let's go with Nicene Legions. This is the one that I really like. Now, we do need to come over here and siege down, um, whatchamacallit, these guys over here. I cannot believe how... So, Andalusia has 139,000 infantry. So, Andalusia is by and absolutely the the lifting, the, the weight lifting force of this group here, of this war. All right. So, these guys are going to fight them off in Cairo. These guys should come over and handle this 10 stack there. There you go. And we're finishing up some core, so our overextension will go back down in a month or two. Since we're ahead on admin, I'll just pay to keep our stab up here. Give that to Genoa, or Georgia, rather. And get these boys off these forts here. 
Of course I get that event. Literally, as I'm finishing up my course, did not be overextended anymore. Oh, shoot. Uh, that was an accident. I did not mean to attack him, but it's fine. We still win, but uh, yeah, no, that was unintentional. Let's make sure we get over here and convert everything, of course. Oh, these guys attack me now. Very good. Now they are going to win because they're going to just pile in their men. Look at this. So this is a nice little trick you can do. Uh, we are going to flee and they're going to take all that attrition. Look at that. Aha. <laughs> Idiots. They've lost 185,000 men to attrition. How many have I lost specifically to attrition? East Rome, I've lost 28,000. So, yeah. I've lost a lot in battle, though. Goodness gracious. Yeah, it's like 60-some thousand I've lost in battle. But now these guys are getting full occupied. And uh, as their war exhaustion goes up, they're going to be less and less likely to um, feel good about the war. And they'll be much more willing to peace out soon. All I've contributed to this war is a couple thousand men. That's it. I haven't really done much in this war. But uh, my participation is 34%. <laughs> they actually gave me... So I'll give it to Georgia so it doesn't get sieged back as quickly. Very good. Yep, see, like, look down here. Slow sieges. Where's my army at, huh? Oh, here they are. So Pavia, this is only grasslands, but they're taking a ton of attrition over here. So we'll just let them sit there. I mean, if Andalusia wants to sit there on that fort, they can, I guess. I kind of can't believe that we haven't gotten any men into uh, Francia. Like, we haven't seized down any of Francia's land yet. Now, I should probably upgrade the multi forts and start working on this war score cost versus other religions. Now, these guys, because we can use that for basically anybody we holy war, It's uh, we get the bonus for that. So, there's no reason why we shouldn't. Now, the only thing that's really holding us back right now is our economy. Let's have you guys head in here. No general. So, uh, yep. They're absolutely going to get shredded. And uh, you kind of deserve it, to be honest with you. Now, what you can do... Well... Yeah, this is fine. What is this? Reinforcements? Yeah, reinforcement speed. So let's put him on there. He's also got extra maneuver. So these guys should be going up like 130 a month. Or 100, I guess. Right, because we don't have... You have base of 0.8. Yeah, you'll have that. Yep, we forgot about our icon, so let's switch our icon over now to... Um... Shoot, man. I guess we'll go with the National Unrest, right? No, we don't need it. Let's go with Discipline. More casualties during the wars. These boys are over here getting reinforced, so we're chilling. Though, admittedly, we don't need that much more. But yeah, take a look. We're already converting much of Egypt. It's incredible. Let's see here. We are still well ahead of time on Diplo, so we might as well do a little bit more of this then. You just go down and do the ones that are cheapest. Just for fun. I inevitably, even though like I've been culture converting all campaign, I will inevitably get people that will comment and be like, hey man, why are you culture converting? Isn't that like worthless? Yeah, mostly. It's for role play. It's just for funsies. That's all. What's our cost versus other religions? Incredible. All right, so these boys over here are grouped up. I think we have an, enough men over here. Let's get into neutral territory. Oh, our general died. That's unfortunate. All right, well, I guess we'll head in here with you then. Shift consolidate and uh, come in here and just beat the crap out of Frankia's army. Oh my gosh. These, these, uh, and absolutely just incredible let's get down back down to pisa so we can get more reinforcements it's faster manpower into the field you know nizrid's not doing too good their particulars have popped that's all right that is all right they're over here sieging down my land again and they took back all of their court their forts again interesting so who else is still north it's literally just us against Francia and Andalusia, basically. Oh, Styria gave back a ton of their cores to uh, Bohemia. 
Bohemia definitely stood to gain in this war, and they did, apparently. Free money, yes, please. Let's uh, use that to immediately upgrade this again. Though, admittedly, it might be smarter for us to do um, the, uh, whatchamacallit. Mm -hmm. let's, let's buy that down. Um, it may be better to do the, um, get cheaper advisors with this one, but it's fine. I don't really mind. Now, I should probably get a discipline advisor as well. Help us with uh, minimizing casualties. Discipline basically makes it so you take less casualties during the war. Give that back to Georgia. And, uh, man, there's still quite the war on our hands here. But they're on low enthusiasm now. I actually don't know how much it costs to enforce religious unit or enforce, like, a force religion. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That'd be funny if I force religion on him. I wonder who it, what that would do. Enact a new... I wonder what that would do for the League War. Does anybody know? If you enforce religion on the Emperor and a separate piece in the League War, what happens? So these guys have 180,000 troops in the field. That is so crazy to me. Half off admin guy. Yeah, let's do it. That's totally fine with me. I'll actually get him up to level four. A little more extra mana. And let's uh, keep on sieging down these boys over here. There's no reason to not get them sieged down. We have rebels that are immediately going to get handled by other allies in the war, which is great. They're going to pile up a ton of men over there. Yeah. This is a tough war. I mean, admittedly, I, I should probably bring up another army. Let's have a march over this way. These guys will start sieging down over here. 60,000 men is plenty. Look at this. Both sides are starting to really dwindle in the numbers. But, um, right. Salzburg is pieced out. Very good. And now we just need to kind of ride it out. Ride it out. Yes. Get them off of his capital. Yes. Win the battle so we get the ticking war score. Let's go. And uh, I would like to march on to Paris. Let's see here. Can I do that? Once I take a couple more forts, I think I should. Yeah should be able to we will see we will see as far as tech goes we're still eight years ahead of time or what is this six years plus 15 for global trade which uh we'll be able to embrace very quickly global trade spawned over here cool very very good and i will upgrade you now and we can use manpower i, I don't care we are gaining so much manpower that it does not hurt us now look at that Level four advisor for ten and a half ducats a month. It's crazy, dude. Actually insane. Now, where's this army at? All right. Those guys are heading up there. Now, they're probably going to take that siege back pretty quickly. They peaced out. Okay. Uh, Bavaria will hand a bunch of land over to Bohemia. And uh, religious peace. So, this was the Peace of Westphalia. So I don't know if that means in absolutism we will get the bonus. Maybe. Actually, don't know exactly how that works. So we don't have any unrest over here. So let's get you guys back over here. We're going to have to fight Persia soon. Yep, we'll have these guys head over here. Let's have these guys head over here and we'll use our boats. Looks like I stole a couple of heavies. I don't really want them, so I'm going to get rid of them. Making over 100 ducats a month like that. That's how you make profit from war, yeah? I should probably get a few more transports, though. So let's get a couple more transports. And it uh, looks like we're having a shortage here of um, naval capacity. So let's get a couple more of these uh, shipyards built up. And I'll raise up our naval force limit. I also believe shipyards are just good because they give local repair, yeah? Yeah, so they'll give you 1.25 uh, or 12.5% increase uh, each uh, tick, so pretty good. There you go. That'll, that'll get us up a bit enough. We're not hurting enough that I'm worried about it. All right, let's have you guys brought over here. Nope. And why? Is there any specific reason? Why this navy will not be used for that when I try to move him? Um, excuse me? 
I have eight transports here. If I take this army and I... I am very confused why it's not prompting me to use my ships. You are a stupid, broken mechanic. If I do it manually, it'll work. But automatic transport just doesn't feel like working, I guess. Okay. Man. That is like my major gripe. And don't get me wrong. The, the most recent few patches have been pretty great. Obviously, Leviathan was a rocky one. But uh, 1.32 fixed so many bugs that I had so many gripes about. I think EU4 is in a very good spot compared to where it has been in the past. Especially following Leviathan. But like, there's so many little bugs that I could just screech about all day. All right. So these guys are free now. They have claims on all this. I have no claims on him, but I can holy war him. And we have a uh, 10% worse. Or, yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do it. They have like no army either. So I can give Georgia plenty of land over here. Yeah. Um. Maybe we'll see. Let's get onto Tehran. The rest of the army's on their way. More of our transports being built up as you do. Here you go. Let's have you guys head on over this way. They have one fort in their entire country. And then where's their ally at? Just some random guy over here. Oh, no. There we go. People are leaving our coalition because they know that they uh, will not ever stand a chance if they wanted to. Let's uh, build you there as well for a little bit of extra goods produced. More money being steered in. Look at this. We're making this 62.6. Absolutely insane. We have grown so much. If you understand the trade in this game, you can make big bank. As soon as you guys get over the idea of base tax being useful, this game becomes so much easier. So much easier. It's incredible. Now, this is funny. Look at these guys' borders. <laughs> I will attack them. So I'm going to... Um, this war is almost exclusively for trade because I want more trade from over here. Uh, there's quite a bit that we can still be making to steer. So we want to do that. And we can trade company literally all this. So I will take everything from here all the way down to like Isfahan if I can. Or Yazd as well. But I doubt we'll be able to on that that much. But we'll do what we can here. Let's get you guys down here. Easy peasy. But yes, a little bit of a longer episode because of the League War. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you let me know. Leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Ding the bell, join the Discord, and uh, I also have a subreddit, a Twitter, if you want to check those out. Links are in the description for that below. Follow me over at uh, twitch.tv slash shoot if you have not already. I stream multiple days a week, and uh, you're missing out on plenty of content if you are not subscribed over there. So make sure you do that, and uh, that is about all I have got for you today. So let's piece this out real quick here. Uh, maybe not. Definitely want Tehran. Yeah, this is fine. That's a good peace deal here. All right. This is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later.